economies are never certain. But whatever the ups, whatever the downs, there is one partner you can trust to offer consistent, honest financial advice. That partner is Citadel. Founded in 1993, the company was initially known as JMM Investment Services with offices in Sunnyside, Pretoria. Its founders introduced a remarkable concept that would challenge the way the South African financial industry did business. Instead of the traditional commission-based model, they shifted to a transparent fee system, then worked hard to ensure its success. In 1995, the company began expanding, opening an office in Cape Town and a year later in Durban. At the same time, JMM evolved into Citadel Investment Services and a new corporate identity was launched. In 1997, Citadel registered with the Financial Services Board, now known as the Financial Sector Conduct Authority. The year 1998 saw another South African first, the implementation of the discretionary mandate for individual clients. The business also opened an office in Johannesburg and with 1 billion rand in assets under management, attracted the interest of Peregrine Holdings Limited. That investment proved sound as Citadel continued to extend its client offering. The team pioneered the introduction of the performance fee at portfolio level. Joint ventures were also established with companies such as Deloitte and Orem Fund Managers. In 2001, a new corporate identity was launched. By 2002, Citadel had 5 billion rand in assets under management and was bought out entirely by Peregrine. Throughout the years, the company continued to offer impeccably high standards of service to clients. The key proved to be employee engagement with a team encouraged and empowered from day one. In 2012, Citadel had 20 billion rand in assets under management. The acquisition strategy continued with the purchase of a 50% share in the Wealth Corporation, a like-minded company specializing in the retirement market. 2013 was a busy year and saw the launch of South Africa's first donor-advised fund, the Citadel Philanthropy Foundation. The company launched a modernized corporate identity, which symbolically placed the client at the center of a new monogram. At the same time, an advertising campaign was created, Citadel's first television commercial. In 2014, Citadel purchased the remaining interest in the Wealth Corporation, acquiring it as a wholly owned subsidiary. By 2015, with over 400 employees, the company managed more than 34 billion rand in assets. At the end of that year, Citadel bought consolidated financial planning. This meant a wider demographic reach, even as Citadel stretched across the world. In 2016, the decision was made to merge the Wealth Corporation and Consolidated into a single brand. At the same time, a landmark new Cape Town office building was opened, named the Citadel. By the dawn of 2017, the merger had been comprehensively implemented. With 450 employees, a unified Citadel offered a broader suite of financial services to a client base of 8,600, with 45 billion rand in assets under management and advice. Later that year, Citadel Financial Planning was renamed Citadel Financial Protection with a singular focus on risk solutions. It was also the right moment to take this remarkable journey to market. And so, a new television commercial was flighted. In 2018, Citadel marked a major milestone, celebrating 25 years in business. This silver jubilee was noteworthy for its collaboration with Gary Player and Ronan Keating. As part of the company's growth strategy, Citadel acquired Purpose Wealth in 2019 and Point3 in 2020. The new decade also meant a new chapter for the Citadel Group. In October 2020, Peregrine Holdings Limited delisted as a publicly traded company, resulting in a management buyout in partnership with private equity group Capital Works. 
with assets under management and advice exceeding 60 billion rand and an industry-leading client retention rate of 99%. Citadel's remarkable journey continues.